Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in this video, we are going to see Cognizant Gen C latest actual interview experience shared by one of our subscribers of our channel. So make sure to watch the video till complete end as you will get to know the exact questions that were asked to the candidate because in this interview experience, you will get quotes based on cluster level and then coding questions, oops questions and many other different topics. Okay, so make sure to watch the video till complete end as you will get questions from technical as well as HR background both. And uh, if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section i just want one thing from you guys that if you're finding it helpful please write the word helpful in the comment section with that i get to know that how many of you are going to have your interview soon and i will post more interview experiences so before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you and guys there is a complete playlist on my channel regarding cognizant prep you will find a lot of other interview experiences of gen c in this playlist too make sure to check those interview experiences as well so let's get started with today's questions let's look at this question tell me about yourself so usually this will be the first question that you will get in your interview that is introduce yourself or tell me about yourself Let's see how can you answer this question. Hello, my name is and then you have to tell your name. I recently joined my, uh, sorry, not joined, but I recently completed my degree in whichever branch you have done, like for example, B.Tech in computer science or whatever from your college. I have experience in Java, Python, SQL, and I have worked on projects like, and you have to mention what is your project and what was the technologies that were used. I also did an internship at this company where I could contribute to my role and uh, you have to mention about the strengths include uh, programming like strengths include problem solving teamwork and adaptability i'm passionate about software development and always eager to learn new technologies now guys few important tips just in case if you have not done internship you have to tell something about you know any course work or any core uh, like certification cert that you have done okay you can talk about anything where you have learned something basically with that you are your motive is to tell about your skill set okay so that uh, going forward in the interview interviewer can ask questions based on that now some important points that you should always have in your like uh, introduction is your educational background your technical skills any internships or projects that you have done and your hobbies or extracurricular activities that you would like to mention make sure that your introduction is not very very long it should uh, like you know either be maximum of 50 seconds or if you have so much to speak then 60 seconds is more than enough so accordingly you have to prepare your introduction and just in case if you are prepared too long also then if you feel that you are over speaking then please stop in between okay like stop around 50 seconds or 60 seconds moving on to the next question tell me about your projects so this question is generally asked okay always let's see how can you answer this question one of the key projects was and then you have to tell your project name where i developed the web application mobile application whatever you have developed you have to tell about that then you have to tell about the tech stack that you have used like java react sql whatever okay now after that you have to tell the challenges that you have faced what are the unique feature that were there that was there in your project and then the future scope of your project that is there something some sort of improvement or a new feature addition is there in your project then you can mention about that okay moving on to the next question which is what was your role during your internship so the answer can be i worked as a like whatever role that you have done like software developer or so, something like that and then you have to mention the company name where i was responsible for then, then you have to tell the task that you have performed like you you can tell coding debugging api integration customization anything okay database handling whatever you have done accordingly you can answer it moving on to the next question uh, uh, the next question is about oops so what are the four main oops concepts let's see the answer for this question uh, the four oops features are encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism let's see one by one encapsulation is basically hiding data using private variables abstraction is hiding implementation details from the user and then inheritance is one class acquires properties of the another class and polymorphism is one function behaves differently in different scenarios let's move on to the next question which is the coding based question or sometimes you know they ask a question orally and then they might ask you to like you know give an ex core example also so let's see the question example hierarchic hierarchical inheritance with code okay so you can see the answer as hierarchical inheritance means one parent class will be there and multiple child classes would be there so here you can see the class animal is your parent class and then it is uh, printing out the statement animal makes a sound and then you have multiple child classes like uh, class dog class cat and uh, these are the child classes okay and uh, since it is more than one so we are calling it as multiple child classes and here these two uh, classes are also printing their own statements and this is the main function okay so basically your first uh, 
parent class method is there then child class method is there and then parent class method and child class method is there okay so in this way you have you can show them via a simple example okay code example moving on to the next question difference between package and module in java okay the answer for this can be package is basically a collection of related classes and interfaces example is java.util module is basically a higher level grouping that contains multiple packages for dependency management okay moving on to the next question that we have difference between final and finally in java so see final is used to declare constant private uh, sorry prevent inheritance or method overriding whereas finally is basically used for for a block in exception handling that always execute moving on what is multi threading in java the answer for this can be multi threading allows concurrent execution of multiple tasks improving performance this question is basically from your operating systems okay and just it's just that you know sometimes they ask these questions based on cluster level so that is why they are asking in java but this is just a uh, like you know operating system question what is synchronized keyword in java the answer for this can be it prevents multiple threads from accessing a shared resource at the same time ensuring thread safety let's look at this question write a code to reverse a string so basically in these types of question you will usually get the option uh, that you know you can code in your preferred coding language okay let's see how what is the code here so see we have taken a class reverse string and then this is our main function it is taking the like you know array or string basically so see here what is happening is a string str we have written it as rahul and then string reversed is equals to what new string builder is string dot, uh, dot reverse function to string basically we are first of all reversing it and then convert, converting it to string system dot out dot print basically we are just printing the word reversed and whatever the reversed output will be so the output for this question will be reversed word reversed and then colon and then uh, the reverse l u h a r okay in this way hope you have understood it let's move on to the next question now the next question is hr based questions now what are you willing to are you willing to relocate so the answer for this question can be yes i am open to relocation i believe that moving to different location will provide me new learning opportunity exposure to diverse work culture and a chance to collaborate with different team members i see it as an opportunity for professional growth and skill enhancement now guys one thing you don't have to give so much of long answer i have just given you extra content so that you can answer in your own way and one more thing whenever these kinds of relocation based questions is asked you also always have to say yes okay never say no because no one is asking you straight forward to relocate it just to assess your mental ability moving on to the next question are you open to learning new technologies so see the, how they are asking this question in the same way you have to take the previous question also okay now you will not say no i am not open to learning new technologies i will do whatever work that i know right so obviously you won't say so you have to show them very proactive that you are very open to uh, take this job and you can do anything okay whatever is expected from you so that is why you have to answer in this way only let's see how can you answer this question absolutely i love learning uh, and staying updated with the latest technological advancements i have already worked in multiple programming languages like java python and sql and i'm also eager to explore new frameworks and tools continuous learning is essential in it industry and i'm always willing up to take the new challenges in my role moving on to the next question why do you want to join cognizant the answer for this can be cognizant is one of the leading it service providers known for its innovation cutting edge technology and a strong market presence the company provides excellent learning opportunities exposure to global projects and a great work environment i believe that joining cognizant will allow me to grow both technically and professionally while contributing to my meaningful projects let's now see the next question why do you choose the software field okay now this question can is more prone to be asked to so those candidates who are from different background other than computer science like if you have a different stream like uh, any circuital branch or something then you can ask then you then you can get this question okay so the answer for this can be i have always been passionate about technology and problem solving from a young age i enjoyed working with computers and developing logical solutions software development allows me to create impactful solutions automate tasks and solve real world challenges more efficiently the dynamic nature of this field keeps me motivated to learn and innovate continuously okay let's move on to the next question now 
tell me something about cognizant basically with this question they are trying to assess your knowledge of cognizant that how much do you know about the company so the answer for this can be cognizant is a multinational it service company that is specialization in uh, digital transformation cloud computing artificial intelligence and consulting services it is founded in 1994 it has a special strong global presence and serves top companies across various industries cognizant is known for its employee centric culture innovation driven approach and strong client relationship making it one of the top choices for it professionals let's see the next question that we have where do you see yourself in 5 years the answer for this question can be in 5 years i see myself as a highly skilled software engineer proficient in multiple technologies and leading projects that make significant impact i aim to develop expertise in areas like cloud computing ai and full stack development additionally i would love to own leadership uh, take on leadership responsibilities mentor junior developers and contribute to success of my organization moving on to the next question what are your strengths and weaknesses so see how can you answer this question is one of the greatest strength of mine is problem solving ability i enjoy ch taking challenges and finding optimal solutions which helps me excel in coding and debugging i am also a quick learner and adapt well to the new technologies whereas for weakness you can say as for weakness i am sometimes focus too much on perfecting minor details which can slow me down however i am actually working on improving my time management skills to make a big balance between efficiency and perfection now guys one thing to note over here is see when you are answering weakness you also have to show a weakness which is good okay right see in this way in this one what we are saying is uh, like i am focusing too much on perfecting my minor details which is good in one way but why it is considered as a weakness because it is it is taking too much of time right and you can't waste your time on one single thing and other thing will be delayed right so that is why we are counting this in our weakness but that weakness is also not an actual weakness on other hand it is good also right so you also have to tell one such weakness okay and also after telling the weakness you should always say that yes i am all, all uh, like currently working on improving my this time management skills and so on okay moving on to the next question what motivates you to work so the answer for this can be i am highly motivated by continuous learning and problem solving i enjoy taking on challenges that push me to think critically and develop new solutions additionally seeing the impact of my work whether it is improving efficiency creating user friendly applications or contributing to a team success it keeps me motivated so guys that's all for today's video i hope you found it helpful and if you do please give it a like if you have any more doubts please drop them in the comment section you can also join me on telegram and follow me on instagram as well you can ask your queries over instagram dm2 make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important updates on notification whenever i upload a new video that's all for this video thanks for watching the video